Hello, my name is Jens Mattis. I'm the creative director at Machine Games. <laughs> Wolfenstein The New Order uh, takes place predominantly in this sort of fictionalized 1960s where the Nazis have taken over the world. But the first chapter of the game takes place in 1946, so it still has a very World War II vibe. But it's into overtime and, um, and it's a little bit strange. Things are a little bit strange. Um, and, but in those areas you'll find more of the weaponry that you would be used to in a World War II game. But once you get into the alternate history and into the 1960s, some very spectacular weapons are appearing. One of the weapons that appear uh, in the 1960s um, is uh, what we call the laser craft work, which is, um, it's a laser weapon that allows you to uh, cut through various obstacles, so you can, you can um, solve puzzles or uh, progress through areas by opening up holes arbitrarily in metal. Um, it also has a fire mode, which uh, does what we call the Dr. Manhattan effect, where we liquefy uh, enemies. <laughs> Most of our gameplay scenarios you can sort of attack uh, either as uh, full guns blazing, which is my favorite approach. I usually don't do much tactical work. I, I treat it more like a deathmatch, and I, so I use a lot of movement and, and uh, sh shooting. Uh, but you can also have a more tactical approach and, and uh, use a lot of iron sight and, and be more uh, cautious in your advancement. Or you can um, do a stealthy approach and just try to sneak past areas. Which, uh, and, and all of those approaches are um, you know, supported by the game. So if you are a really hardcore Call of Duty style player, there's no problem picking it up and playing it in that way. We get bored ourselves when it isn't a lot of variety. So, so it's usually on, on the conceptual stage when our sort of creative uh, collective at Machine Games sit down and we discuss what we want to do. Uh, a lot of these ideas pop up and we, we, then we feel compelled to do them because we think it would be really cool. Um, so, but you know, there's, so the, th the thing you play today, for example, starts off with um, sort of this climbing of the wall to get into the compound. Um, and that's certainly not something that you know you have to do. You can just do it normal gameplay shooting your way and through staircases or whatever. Um, but once we have ideas like that, we, we just we have to realize them. We, we really those are the things that 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 we love in when we play games and it's the kind of thing that we love making. We use a lot of destruction in the game and, and it, 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 it affects gameplay because um, it allows both you and your enemies to remove your cover. Um, so you can't really sit still in one place for too long. You have to be constantly on the move and, and, and think uh, tactically as you move through a combat scenario. Um, yeah, we, plus it also looks really cool when all kinds of shit explodes. All of the dynamic stuff is of course more taxing on the, on the hardware. Uh, and it's also because we run at a constant 60 frames per second to have maximum responsiveness in the controller. Um, yeah, so it's tricky technically, but it's, it's, it really pays off uh, in the gameplay too. Uh, the difficulty modes uh, in this game are based on the original difficulty modes in Wolfenstein 3D. Um, so we take a lot of inspiration from Wolfenstein 3D, both in terms of our characters and our world and, and um, things like that, like difficulty settings. Um, but we're also taking this game into a very strange new direction that Wolfenstein has never been in, uh, where the Nazis have taken over the world and it's uh, just a whole... Um, it used to be that you were fighting for a side and you were fighting with an army behind you, but now you're, the stakes are 
up and it's basically just you trying to reignite this resistance movement and, and do something about the Nazi oppression. Hitler is not in this game. Um, that's all I'll say on this topic, I think. <laughs> Wolfenstein uh, The New Order is coming out for uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and PC um, in the first half of 2014.